What if I told you there was once a time where Travis Scott sneaker drops used to not only give manual users a chance, but they actually used to be fun. You could feel the adrenaline coursing through your veins, the sweat accumulating under your ass. All because you knew you were going to cop. Why such confidence? Because you were in control. It all depended on if you had the right reflexes for the drop, if you could be quick enough, if you could refrain from fixing your wedgie right before the drop. But then, it all came to an end. The Astro Travi Instagram story went viral, provoking a shift in the matrix. Travis was now to release all future sneakers via RAF, which meant manual users no longer had the chance that they used to. Counterintuitive to what the initial plans were and what Astro Travi had hoped for, now raffle bots were taking the overwhelming majority of stock. Things just weren't what they used to be before. F*** you, Ash. Alright, stop f***ing crying, soldiers. We gotta deal with it regardless, and we gotta work with the hand that we're being dealt. Adapt or perish. As usual for today, we'll be discussing some release info, how to cop, and of course, some resale predictions for the Travis Scott Jordan 1 Low Golf Olive. The Travis Scott Jordan 1 Low Golf Olive is currently set to release on October 13th. However, it is also worth noting that the Travis Scott raffle typically goes live the day before, so potentially on the night of the 12th. Make sure you follow my Twitter, KeithAdam10, this way you get the notification for that, as well as shock drops, such as the one that we just saw today for the Jordan 1 satin bread. Also, for early information before those shock drops actually occur, consider joining Endurance with the link in the description below. Retail is $170 for these, and resale will be covered towards the end of the video as always. Now, how do you cop these? As I've articulated in prior Travis Scott videos, I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. We're f Unfortunately, the first come first serve on Travis's site used to be our best chance, but now aside from sneakers, if you don't cop there, you could essentially chalk it up. That is, of course, unless you are one of the lucky few who ends up copying via the Travis Scott raffle, considering there's a lot of stock there and not so much stock on the other smaller boutique raffles, which might not even be worth your time. If you do have a raffle bot, of course you're going to want to use that on the drop. However, if you are a manual user and you do want to make as many entries as possible to increase your possibility of copying, there's a couple of things you need to keep in mind to increase your chances. And these things are important because you don't want your multiple entries to be filtered out. You don't want to spend tons of time entering into all these just for your entries to be voided anyway because of a lapse in your judgment. So I'll walk you through what you need to keep in mind. First of all, your information must be jigged. I would not rely on the Gmail dot trick. I'd suggest completely new emails, new Gmail accounts for every single entry. Change the last few digits to your phone number two, and also try to make entries using different IP addresses. You could use multiple mobile devices using data as well as one on your Wi-Fi. You could also use a proxy switcher Chrome extension and use residential proxies to make your entries. Whether you're a botter or a manual user, you could feel free to purchase proxies with the link in the description below from Kip Proxies. And finally, as an extra layer of precaution, you could even use a different Chrome user. This way you have different cookies when entering or you could also just clear your browsing data and cache right before you make the second entry. Now, if you do plan to bot the drop but you don't have a raffle bot yet, it is worth noting that Gargantua AIO does have a browser mode for this website, so you can feel free to try it for three weeks completely free if you are an Endurance member. Again, you can feel free to join with the link in the description, and of course, we do sell Gargantua separately if that's something you're interested in. It's also worth noting that Gargantua supports multiple sites, much more than just Travis and more than just raffles too. And the same goes for Endurance. There's much more than just sneaker release information and software provided there. So if you're interested in broadening your horizons as a reseller, you can feel free to join with the link below. Now, if you do have a raffle bot, of course, you're going to want to bot all other sites that load raffles for these as well. But if you're manual, honestly, those might not be worth your time. It's completely up to you. If you do have a lot of free time on your hands, definitely make sure to enter as many as possible. But in reality, the next realistic chance you're going to have is is going to be on Nike sneakers at 10 a.m. Eastern time on release day. And for Europe, it's going to be 9 a.m. CET. These are most likely going to release via a Dan release, also known as a draw. That's when you essentially have 10 minutes to enter in as many accounts as possible. Now, similar to the raffle, 
because it's a draw, you're going to want to make as many entries as possible. This way, you could increase your likelihood of being able to comp. Now, there's a lot of detail that goes into how to efficiently and effectively do this without getting filtered out. So if you're interested in how to do that, I did make a full in-depth video on it. You can feel free to check it out. Now, hypothetically, if when they load up, it's not going to be a Dan release or a draw, then that means it would be a Leo drop. I'm not expecting this, but I feel like I should let you know just in case. If it is a Leo drop, that means you'll have two to three minutes to make as many entries as possible. Consider it like a mini draw disguised as a first come first serve. Leo stands for let everyone order. So those are really just going to be your biggest chances. That's Nike sneakers and the Travis Scott raffle. Again, you can feel free to enter raffles from other boutiques too. It all depends on how much free time you have on your hands. I also felt like it's worth mentioning that there's a very, very small possibility that Kith might drop some leftover raffle pairs via their site, via first come first serve at 10 a.m. Eastern time. They haven't in a long time, but they used to in the past. And the same goes for undefeated. Sometimes when it comes to Travis releases, at least in the past long ago, they used to drop the leftover raffle pairs at 11 a.m., 12 p.m., sometimes 12.15 or 12.30 or 1 p.m. Eastern time, sort of like a shock drop. So if you have Shopify monitors, make sure you are watching those for potential shock drops. And the same goes for Dover Street Market New York E-Flash. That would be at 11 a.m. Eastern time if they hypothetically decided to randomly drop some pairs. Now, if you're from Europe, the same thing applies, but for Soulbox, they haven't dropped like this in a long time. But if they hypothetically do, it'll most likely be somewhere around 9 a.m. CET, sometimes 10 minutes before, sometimes 10 minutes after. Unfortunately, that's really all I have for you guys. I do want to be as realistic and straightforward as possible when it comes to a release like Travis Scott's. It's not what it used to be. You know, we don't have the same kinds of opportunities like when they used to do it first come first serve, not only on the Travis Scott website, but when all these boutiques used to drop first come first serve too. Unfortunately, the world has gone soft and we all have f***ing Astro Travi to thank for that. So as for resale, this one should be quite obvious. Of course, these are going to be extremely profitable with an incredible margin. Obviously, there's a ton of demand for this sneaker, even though it's a golf variant. It doesn't matter. It's a Jordan 1 low Travis Scott. Plenty of people are going to want these, and the stock is going to be extremely limited too. In fact, they might even be proportionally more limited in comparison to the other Jordan 1 low Travis Scotts, considering it is a golf model, but I'll confirm that to you guys closer to the release date when we have the precise stock number. And since this is a golf pair, there is unfortunately no preschool and no toddler pairs. So best of luck. We're certainly going to need it for this drop. Also remember, you can feel free to check out Endurance with the link in the description below. Also feel free to subscribe and enable post notifications. This way you stay 100% updated on every hype sneaker release. Also follow my Twitter, KeithAdam10 for urgent updates and info, just like the shock drop that we saw today and for the Travis Scott raffle when that does go live. Otherwise, have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you guys later. Good luck.